in this Photoshop 101 video, we're moving right along. We're going to the fourth uh, option on the toolbar, which is the object, object selection tool or the magic wand tool. Hotkey for this tool is going to be W. Hit W and it's going to select that key or you can click it over here on the side. So the object selection tool is actually pretty straightforward. Um, you've got some options here up on the top. Um, not really necessary to mess with any of them. You can um, click Enhanced Edge though and it's going to find you a little bit better of an edge. Um, all you got to do to use this tool is going to select an object. So say we've got this big picture here, we want to select just this lady out of the middle of it. Um, all we're going to do is we're just going to drag a rectangle around her and only her and it's going to find the edges of that image automatically for us. Uh, and then if you wanted to remove her from the layer, you're just going to hold Control alt and press J. And it's going to create a new layer with just that lady in it. Um, it's pretty straightforward on how that works. Um, we'll go ahead and open this layer back up, the main layer and we'll move right along to the next section. So if you right click the object selection tool, it's gonna to give you quick selection, and it's also gonna give you magic wand. Uh, the quick selection, I don't use nearly as much as uh, the other things, just in the type of designs that I do, it's not necessary. It's, it's really good for selecting um, like things like hair and other things like that that are, that are a little bit more fine. Um, you can physically select those so you can set um, the selection size so the brush size is here up at the top you can make your brush size big you can make it small um, but it'll do essentially the same thing the object selection does it just gives you more control over what you're selecting so we've got our brush size set to three um, and we'll go ahead and we'll hit Z and we'll zoom in uh, to this lady here and we'll hit W to go back to um, that brush and we've got our little tiny uh, we'll make it a little bit larger so you can see so we've got a size 14 brush here and we're just gonna click on the lady and this one it happened to actually fill out the entire thing right away if we wanted to add another section to this um, we could click or hold down shift and click the man and it will highlight both of those two things um, we could hit control alt plus J to make a copy of those and now we've uh, selected both of those um, with him we've got a or with her we've got this little white in between um, using this tool to remove that white is a little bit more difficult. Um, that's kind of where the, if you right click over here in the quick selection, the magic wand comes into play. I use the magic wand quite a bit. I know a lot of people who are heavy into Photoshop don't recommend using magic wand. It's not great. But for the type of designs that we're doing for tumblers or other sublimation you know, shirts or koozies or whatnot, um, your designs don't have to be you know 100% precise you know as if you were like photoshopping uh, someone's face onto another person's body or something like that you have a little bit more intricacy doing those type of things doing something like this using the magic wand is totally acceptable um, there's not enough visible um, things wrong with doing it this way the where it's going to show in your designs um, but essentially with the magic wand which is the tool I use the most in this section um, you would just click in that little white space and it will fill that entire white space. So say we wanted to remove the black space, we can click the black and we'll remove that. But we want to get rid of uh, the white space. So we click the white space and then we simply hit delete on our keyboard and it will delete that white space area. Um, you could use the magic wand the entire way through that process. So say we wanted to um, remove all of the white background completely. We would hit Z, zoom out so we can see the full thing. Um, we'll hit W to go back to the magic wand. We've got our wand selected. We can click 
make sure we're on that layer, click the white background, it's going to highlight the entire continuous white background. It's not going to get all the spaces in between because there's black in between, so it's not continuous. Um, and then we could hit um, delete. And it's going to say, could not complete your request because a smart object is not directly editable. So what this means is whenever you drag something in, like we did in the last video, we drag this picture into it, it saves it as, or it imports it as like a smart object. In order to bypass that, all we do is we could right click this over in the layers panel, and you get this dialog box that has a lot of different options in it, but we can click rasterize layer, and what that's gonna do is gonna make it not a smart object anymore, it's gonna flatten that image, it's gonna, it's gonna rasterize it. Um, so now we've got that rasterized, we wanna delete the full white background from it, we can go ahead and hit delete, and it will remove all of the white background. Um, I think by default um, on the magic wand tool the tolerance is set to 32. Um, I would recommend bumping this tolerance level up to 100. Um, the difference and the reason being is um, let's say we set this to uh, 32 which is the default. Um, so we've got our tolerance set to 32. We'll click inside this little white in the man's leg and we'll delete that section. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us only a tolerance level of 32 from the white to the black where those edges touch. And if we click on our background, we made the black background black, that way we can show contrast here. We hit Z and we zoom in over here. You can see the white edge around where we clipped it out much more than you can see any white edge that was around the man from before. Um, so setting the tolerance level up to 100 will give you a much closer um, cut to what the, the shape is, what the person is to eliminate those colors. So then we can remove this little section here and this little section and the arm over here. And now we've got that man cut out completely from the background. Um, the next section we're going to go into is going to be the, the crop tool. Um, I don't use this section a whole lot. We'll just kind of uh, touch on it very slightly. It's not really an important section, um, but we'll hit that because we're just going to try and go through all of the sections um, all the way down this toolbar, and then we'll jump over into a little bit more into the layers section, the layers panel. Um, so the next video, like I said, is going to be cropping.